Hey you guys, so it's X Crazy Nails and I'm here to show you how to thin out your nail polish. Um, a lot of people tend to use acetone or nail polish remover to thin out their nail polish. But this is actually the worst possible way to thin out your nail polish because it just damages it even more. So um, this is just a temporary fix basically and it'll get goopy and thick within a couple of weeks or a couple of months. And that's what happened to this one. I used acetone and nail polish remover for this one and it just got really thick. As you can see from the rim, it got really thick and it just doesn't even doesn't even apply on the way it's supposed to be. The cap is completely messed up. It's completely thick. So adding acetone or nail polish remover is probably one of the worst things you can do for your nail polish. Now if you want to make it thin and make it last longer, then you want to get um, some type of nail polish thinner. Um, this is Beauty Secrets and I get I got this at um, Sally's Beauty Supply and it costs like probably like four or five dollars and so it's inexpensive it goes a lot goes a long way all you have to do is drop um, a couple of drops into your nail polish and um, it works good with base coats um, top coats um, regular nail polish as well so it really does help all you have to do is drop a little bit like three or four drops now what I wanted to do is a lot of people ask is it able to work um, with the crackle nail polish because I know my crackle nail polish, this is black mesh by China Glaze, is very thick and it doesn't work anymore. So a lot of people ask if you can use it with that and I'm going to see if I can. As you can see, look how it just got really gross and nasty. So I'm going to try it out to see if it works. But if you're going to buy the China Glaze crackles, do note, note that they do get thick eventually. Okay, so I'm going to try it out just to see if it look you can just see it's completely thick it's just very disappointing that it got really thick like that after you know purchasing it with my own money and then it gets thick like that so let's just try it out a couple of this is probably going to need a lot of drops so I probably put like 15 drops in there so we're going to see how it works and don't be afraid to shake your nail polishes because it's okay to shake your nail polishes. A lot of people say don't shake your nail polishes, but it's okay. If it has air bubbles, just let it sit for about, I don't know, like five or ten minutes and the bubbles should go away. So I'm shaking it. Hopefully, let's see. And it, I guess it does thin it out a little bit. Um, let's try it out on a nail. Let's see, this is just a random nail that I was working on. So let's try it. If it does crackle or anything. No. I see it crackling a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see it. It is crackling. So I'm guessing it does work, but I feel like it's going to get thick again. It feels like it's going to get thick. So it does crackle. So using the nail polish thinner with the crackle, China Glaze Crackle Nail Polish does work, but I feel like I probably have to put a few more drops in to get a little bit more thinner. Other than that, I'd say it works. It screws on a lot more better than it used to. So yeah. So I guess it does work. So I do highly recommend buying the nail polish thinner. It works great for top coats, base coats, regular nail polish. As you can see, it worked a little bit for the um, crackle nail polish. So yeah, make sure you um, never put remover because this remove is this this removes nail polish why would you put something that removes nail polish into nail polish so yeah so buy this it, it's really cheap and expensive and it goes a long way okay thanks for watching